Is corporate America signaling consumers are closer here to a breaking point? What are we seeing here, Guy? Well, I think that's exactly right. What are we seeing? We're seeing exactly that. People are slowing down, and valuations now matter in the retail space as well. I mean, Home Depot was not... Quarter at it was the guidance that I think scared a lot of people. I actually thought Walmart was okay. But then you look at a company like Dillard's, who a week ago was making an all-time high, down 17% on what was, again, a pretty sketch quarter. So what does it say? It says, never, can, never question U.S. consumers want to spend, but are they in a position to spend? And clearly the answer is no. And as rates continue to go higher, as more disposable income gets sort of bled away with inflation, there's going to be a problem for these retailers who are at a point now where they can't pass those costs. Yeah, I felt like as the day went on, people were more accepting of Walmart, thinking that the outlook was too conservative. Yeah. At least they got through the inventory issue, which had right. been a big overhang. I thought Walmart was pretty good. I felt like they were um, in front of things. Mm -hmm. So to the inventory issue, exactly. I think that they did talk about inflation. They talked about double-digit food inflation. Um, but the, I think they really had a handle on things. I thought it was good. I think to the issue of are they sandbagging, they practically said as much, right? So someone tried to get at that, and they gave an answer that was yes, basically, but not in those words. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, the Home Depot, obviously, different story. Walmart traded yeah. great in, in a yeah. horrible tape, and especially, obviously, versus Home Depot closing at the lows. And it's interesting, if you look at the day chart of Walmart, I mean, it gapped down a couple percent or so. It was trading worse in the pre-market, and then it got this ramp, and then it flatlined. Like, look at that right there. I mean, that is um, pretty impressive. That shows that there were some real buyers there, and they're making a decision to pay almost 23 times low single digits earnings and sales yeah. growth that was just kind of guided down to towards that range versus a Home Depot that's getting creamed down 30 percent from its 20. 21 all-time highs trading at a market multiple, which I think is interesting. One thing I'll say about the consumer, it's kind of interesting because inflation, we talk about this all the time here. Um, you know, wage gains are, are moderating here, right? And it's interesting, while inflation has come in and a lot of the pressures that affect consumers, they're starting to tick back up a little bit, right? So Guy just mentioned the savings rates going down here. This could be the trickiest spot for the U.S. consumer at a time where financial conditions now are getting uh, much tighter, especially with rates going higher. So so to me, I, I think it's really interesting to take um, each one of these uh, retail reports and then think about them a bit holistically when they're in the rearview mirror. It may not paint a great picture for Q2 and Q3 for the consumer. You really felt that when you when you listen to the commentary from the CEOs and the CFOs of these two companies. I mean, they were really saying the consumer right now is okay, but we see these yeah. things on the horizon, and the macro environment is just a little bit uncertain, so we have to guide lower. You have to, right? We've seen this before. I mean, we saw this last year with just so much uncertainty ahead. But right now, the consumer isn't having a problem. And I do think when you're seeing something like a Walmart, they are guiding, I think, ultra conservatively, right? I think that's why it bounced so much. And I think there was a lot of positives there. Like you actually saw their groceries the department is actually doing better than a lot of their competitors, which means they're actually gaining market share. So yes, it's going to affect their earnings right now because it's not the margins aren't as good for them. But longer term, if they get those people to stay and they are getting some of your higher income consumers, it's going to benefit them. If we don't have this recession that some people are expecting, we have more money, the consumer stronger, that's better for them. If we do go into recession, more people are going to trade down to a Walmart. So yes, they, they might be impact here in the short term, but longer term, I actually think they're still well positioned. You hear, though, also the food companies talking about price increases, right? Like a General Mills today. We heard it from Pepsi quarter after quarter. And there's a squeeze that is going to happen at some point where they are raising prices, but you go to Walmart and you expect lower prices. So when does that, something we're there. give at some point? Yeah, I think, we're th I think we're there. I mean, they've been able, all these companies, I've said a number of times, you want to know where real inflation is? Listen to what General yeah. Mills says when they, you know, air quotes, organic growth. I mean, that's code for we're basically passing on our costs to you. That's where the real rate of inflation. Pepsi, the same thing. But we're at the, I think we're at that inflection point now where they're no longer going to be able to pass it on to the consumer. So they either eat it and that affects their margins or, I mean, what, you know, what's, where we're at a point now where if they can't eat it and they can't, then, then margins they just start make to, smaller packages. Then they just, which, which <laughs> well, is not, shrink for I'm, which I'm, is shrink I'm not joking, of course. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, if they can do it in a way where you don't feel it, you don't really, it has the, the sort of look and feel of the old right. size. They put a lot of air in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's one way around it. The more but you it is, know, right? But there. the more you know. I mean, it's clear because <laughs> your old 16 ounce box of Cheerios, which I would eat at a city, is now down to 13 ounces. <laughs> and you notice. And I right? notice <laughs> in a myriad of different ways. Yeah. Anyway.